Your ears ring as your vision clears up. In front of you is a tall masked man claiming to be the principal. You head to your first class and start completing problems as instructed. Simple math, that is until you come across a glitch. It must be. Your answer clicks wrong. The halls go quiet. You are alone. At the end of the hall, you hear a deafening You should not have done that. The chase has began. This is not Baldi's basics. And he is no Baldi. Advanced Education with Victor Strabovsky is a fan game based on Baldi's basics, but is far more terrifying and bizarre than its predecessor could ever be. The school's itself is a confusing mess of corridors and doors, not unlike some of the other horror games I've played in the past. No matter how much I try to get a sense for the place, I would always end up lost and stuck going in circles. Various disturbing paintings stare at you as you attempt to find all of the now ten rather than seven notebooks, and the problems move past the levels of basic. Anything in there? Is it random? It's got to be random. Here's one. Eight plus minus five, they're gonna throw negatives at me? Bro, you can't throw negatives at me, bro. I like, didn't even pass third grade math. Let's see. Unlike in Baldi's basics, there are only four main people that would try to get in your way. The beloved janitor is replaced with a blood-soaked skeleton that will grab you at random and drag you through the halls. Okay, so that's, so you, okay, no, 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 please. Okay. Okay, could you stop grabbing me, you whore? Ah, he's gonna push me right into him. He's gonna push me right into him. The next person you will have to deal with is the hall monitor, who, same as before, will catch you for running or trespassing in hidden areas. She will then bring you to the punishment room and trash you. My experience with her was less than ideal. Run in the corridors during the lesson. God damn it, you bitch! I wasn't even running, I was like jogging at that. Dude, I was like speed you walking. Have one warning. You're a whore. Everything you do is hopeless. Yeah, yeah, bitch, you work minimum wage. <laughs> Borderline minimum wage. You're a hall monitor. <laughs> Why is happening? Then there are the enemies that can actually kill you. Yes, there are two in this game. Mr. Mix could honestly be his own video, but to summarize, he is a reference to an old typing game that used to scare the kids who played it and even traumatize the one person who finished the fifth level. Now I don't know what the fuck this whole mess is, but he fits perfectly in this game. He serves as a mechanic similar to the puppet in FNAF. Every couple minutes you must go and type a few words for him. If you bring me back for some stupid reason, all right, chef, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and head, head and help you because I do not want to figure out how it feels when you spread my cheeks. Cucumber. I hear something coming up behind me and I don't like it. What the fuck was that? Guacamole. Whack-a-mole. <laughs> Man's white as shit. Man I said whack-a-mole. <laughs> You're fucking joking, dude! I was genuinely scared on what would happen if I left him for too long, but thankfully on my run, he never killed me. Now for the final player in this game, Victor himself. Victor is extremely scary for one reason, he's quiet. Unlike Baldi, who you can constantly hear slapping his ruler, Victor can only be heard dragging some sort of weapon down the hall only when he is visible, which to the dark hallways isn't very far. His jump scare managed to scare me so badly, I knocked over my chair. That is the worst combo. Okay, well that bastard pushed me right into him. So in the end, I managed to die whilst trying to type for the chef, and that was it. But after that experience, I could never go back to Baldi's Basics. Well, that was quite an adventure. I'm sad to see you go, but don't worry, this doesn't have to be the last time we see each other. I got another cool video, just for you. Hurry, the video's almost over.